Hello everyone. Welcome back to Hima Bindu Angul Kurti's channel. I'm so excited to show you another makeover that I've been dreaming about from days and actually years. So, we haven't done any changes to my backyard patio and this is now the dream come true moment. So, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, uh, please do and I post DIYs on every Saturday and fun family videos on every Wednesday This is the situation of our backyard patio before the transformation as you can see it's good enough for a small family of four and I just cleaned a little bit of the cushions as you can see it is still wet over there and when it comes to the corner there's so much to handle over there there's there's all kinds of junk in here just just so much that is required for the plants because it's backyard of course and there's so much of a garden soil bags pest control sprayers and greenhouse set so much more and not to forget that i have this vacuum cleaner sitting in here i have no idea why but shoes, sandals, and uh, fountain cords, and everything, and that old mat, uh, I think it's time to clean up, of course, and all my extra pair of gloves, so definitely we have to handle this today. So we can enjoy the fresh air outside, and also all the fresh blooms that I love to watch all day. Uh, it's so much good to sit in the backyard and enjoy this weather, especially in California, the beautiful sun. So I'm going to clean up all this and this is how it is now. So I'm going to have to clean all the dirt and also I am washing it plenty of times because there are so many rust spots all over the places and also not to forget that I put my garden soil in here before so there are so many dirt spots so I am cleaning it as much as I can so that the spots will go away and also it's time to clean this stuff and it's been a while like I said we took over those pots so there's so much of this dirt sitting in underneath the pots so we're cleaning up all this and now it's time to do a little DIY for my cushions these are in perfect shape but I just wanted to change the color because me and my husband doesn't really like that much how this color is and also there are some dark spots caused because of the water I never tackled painting cushions so this is first <laughs> I did a lot of research before I did this so I first watered and you don't have to water it with hose if you have the water uh, sprayer and here I'm using my little handy mug to paint and also my old brush that if you have seen my previous videos I use this brush and it's perfect in shape I love this brush and also I'm using this chalk paint which is uh, $10 that I got in Walmart long time ago and I will see if I can find the link and I will add it in the description box down below testing this on this cushion for the first time and I'm a little nervous and also my plan is to get this paint soaked in but not too much because that will consume a lot of paint which at this point I don't have much okay I got this and I'm really nervous but I got this I really had mixed feelings about this paint on this couch cushion but I'm gonna continue because I started it and this is the only color that I have handy and I don't wanna get a new color because I'm not sure how these paints will work on the cushions and also I am not so sure about this color because I love to keep the color that I applied it for the first time for that you'll have to keep applying the same paint over and over again and again because i applied four coats and i'm still seeing some mismatches in colors which i am not so sure how to tackle it other than applying a whole lot of paint painting cushions is really easy and i really like this job because i don't have to use any of the heavy equipment all i have to make sure is to apply or sprinkle a little bit of water in between each coat so that my brush will be smooth enough to coat the paint. And 
this is so satisfying like i said this really went fast for me i would suggest if you're going to do paint for cushions is to use the gallon paint rather than using a quart because i was super nervous while i'm doing this paint job that's the only thing it bothered me is i'm not sure if this paint will be sufficient for all eight cushions when it comes to the brushes make sure that you're using the good bristled brush so that the bristles will not leave behind when you're painting as this is a cloth it is also important that you do this job in the shady area and you dry it in the sun because then it will dry out really quickly it took me just 15 minutes between each coats of the same cushion or painting the same cushion this is after 15 to 20 minutes I came back to my first cushion and this is how it looked for the first coat as you can see there are still some spots I quickly sanded it down and I'm applying water for my second coat also in my research I found out that you can add or dilute your paint a little bit but not too much because you will have to then apply a lot of coats to get a thicker paint color I'm also thinking that if I would have used darker shade probably it would have been nicer and less coats I placed all the cushions in the Sun for about 20 minutes and it's getting darker I've already applied two coats and this is how it looked on one side after the paint job I cleaned this patio one more time so that I can get rid of the markings as you can see my rust marks are no longer there and this patio looks much nicer than what it looks before I let it dry in the night and I came back next day and look how nice this is fresh and bright in the morning sorry for the plane noises I live so close to the airport and I hear a lot of flight sounds too along with the beautiful chirping sounds these cushions are also dried out fully and I've applied another two coats and let them dry in the Sun in the meanwhile I went to shopping looking for the side stands or any of the planters that I can find for my backyard and I went to home goods these are so beautiful but not what I'm looking for so after this I went to Walmart and I found two beautiful side stands just what I want for my patio makeover this is the best deal I got a little less than five dollars and also I ordered a few decor pieces from Amazon which I will also link in the description box down below for you I got these pillowcases and you won't believe it these are just for nine dollars those are so good very beautiful prints and I just got these for nine dollars and I cannot believe it and the good thing about these are they are printed on both sides and the next beautiful Amazon find that I find is these amazing rustic sort of lanterns these are solar based I don't have to add any batteries or anything for these and also there is a on and off button in case if you want to save batteries and I just thought these are gonna be a little too big but they're not I put them in the Sun for about three hours to get them fully charged and here is another best deal that I found from Ross and I'm afraid that I cannot put the link for this one this is a recycled rubber mat I got this one in the clearance section and also they have the pretty beautiful mats which you will have to go and look for yourself and here is another beautiful rug that I found for outdoor you can simply just wash it out with your hose and this is about $68 I love this YouTube trick let me snap and see if my furniture comes back there you go and let me do another snap there you go this is amazing right this is so fun yeah and here I'm using my marble stools that I got as my side stands and well another five dollars which is the best deal and I have two planters which have been there sitting in my 
backyard for so long so I am finally going to make use of those in my decor. I added these on either sides of big love seat. Plants do add a lot of beauty to any sort of decor which you can see it right now. I'm adding this table back again. I cleaned a little bit of dust and as you can see there's still a lot which I missed. I'm gonna clean it right now. There you go, that went really quick. And I am adding these cushions. I got the pillow inserts from Amazon also which I will add the link in the description box down below. And I am adding the final touches for my patio makeover. I cannot believe how big of a difference that these pillowcases can do and they're so nice and very spring and so beautiful soft and not to forget that they're waterproof because these are outside pillowcases so they're waterproof they can be added to your outdoor patios. I added the lantern on the table and with this here is the before and after transformation. Look how much big of a difference that it made by spending just a little over $100. There is a lot of change that you can see. I am simply thrilled with this makeover how it turned out and I also have a few more plants that I'm going to show you in my future videos uh, to add for this outside patio and also I am surprising someone which is my favorite Yashika I will show you her reaction and what she loved the most in this makeover there she is coming and she did not see the patio makeover yet and yeah she's struggling with the door but she got it trust me yeah there you go that's my girl and uh, she didn't see that yet there you go she is surprised and she's amazed to look this she's su still surprised and yeah that's her favorite yes she loved the lantern she thinks that she can turn on the switch and she'll see the lights somewhere else but yeah no only it's the lantern added a clip at the end of this video how this beautiful lantern will look its design is simply beautiful with the night light hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and yeah I will let the little one play with this lantern as long as she wants until then bye see you in my next video